Katie Hodgson, and I'm in grade 11. My intention as an artist is to find meaning in my personal experiences to connect them to the wider world. I take the viewer on a journey of self-discovery, exploring themes of identity, transformation, loneliness, and mortality. I explore the interconnectedness of the human experience and how identity is shaped by external factors. The reason I'm so obsessed with the creative process is that it helps me understand both myself and the world around me. Through my work, I document my history. My paintings are a way that I recreate moments and therefore can have control over them. They take apart and dissect the past. Painting is the closest thing to an exorcism for me. I create spaces that you can feel immersed in, creating these surreal and imaginary worlds that invite the viewer to explore the depth of their own emotions. In this art talk, I will explain the questions I ask in my work and what I have tried to understand through each of my pieces. I think I am so drawn to self-portraiture because it's a form of introspection. To recreate myself on the canvas, I have to understand who I am and what defines me. Every time I make a self-portrait, I am reconstructing and reflecting on my own identity. The Void We Share is a two-piece series exploring loneliness, vulnerability, and society's views on purity. A continuation of my self-portraits, the lamb works as a symbol for innocence and purity. I aim to portray the feeling of being suspended in a void, having nothing to anchor you. I have always found myself drawn to animals, and the way they can exist without all the nuances and complexities that humanity has given to us. Are animals immune to this kind of uniquely human suffering, being without our ideas of right and wrong? Creating this piece, I thought a lot about femininity, in a world where submissiveness and weakness are the ideals for women. I am flawed because I am a living, breathing girl, and not the symbol that is being created of me. When you look inside yourself, do you see the lamp? This series of three paintings is an exploration of spirituality. The sun and moon come together in the middle painting, representing the link between humanity and the cosmos. My landscapes are permeated with a sense of awe and wonder, exploring my relationship with the higher power through the sublime beauty of nature. When you look for it, there are many parallels between yourself and the earth. The figures work as a representation of human connection and vulnerability. These paintings serve as windows into the inner landscapes of my subjects, allowing the viewer to witness their journeys of self-realization. I invite the viewer to reconnect with nature, encouraging them to appreciate the importance of preserving it for future generations. This painting is about dying. I think of death as a door leading to a place unknown. We like to believe in the idea of an afterlife. The thought of no longer existing is so terrifying. The light shining through the door is incredibly alluring and comforting. But no matter how much we pray or worship, we can't escape the uncertainty of what happens next. This might be life's greatest question, and it can never truly be answered. My piece headache explores the subjectivity of experiences. The world moves on while you suffer. Things remain beautiful even when no one is there to witness them. While painting this, I was in constant pain from spending all of my free time hunched over my sewing machine. I couldn't stop because my passion projects were the only thing I could think about. No matter how much it hurt, I couldn't pull myself away from the magic of creating something beautiful with my bare hands. Maybe we have to suffer for art. As people, we long for connection. I think a lot of people know the feeling of wanting to be held, wanting to be understood. In this painting, I create a space where people can be vulnerable with each other. Through this door is a reality without limits on closeness. The figures are so close to each other that they almost become one individual being, which in some ways can be the goal of love. This piece aims to capture the essence of human relationships and prompts the viewer to reflect on their own experiences of love, intimacy, and the bonds that tie us together. My painting's hands explores these things as well. The subway is a transitional space. It's somewhere we get used to, something we see in our everyday life. It's so interesting to me that people with such intricate lives can meet together in a space without acknowledging all the stories and experiences they are surrounded with. Although crowded with people, it feels lonely. You become anonymous, part of the crowd. With the perspective tilt and removing the commuters, I aim to make the viewer feel uncomfortable and get them to re-examine a space they are accustomed to. My art and my life mirror each other and are in continuous metamorphosis. 
Creating something out of nothing feels like divine power. I am consumed by it. With each fresh stroke, I invite you to reflect on your own paths of self-discovery and the layers of our identities that often go unnoticed. My art reminds us of the vastness of human experiences and the beauty that lies in embracing different viewpoints. Nothing is objective. Observe the cycles of the world and the cycles within yourself. Celebrate our interconnectedness and contemplate the beauty that surrounds us. Never stop making connections and searching for meaning. Thank you.